until Thursday night, the defending national champs, Northwest Missouri State, hadn't lost in 28 games. That made for a Bearcat team hungry to bounce back as Emporia State fell in Maryville 92-71. Picking up in the first, Emporia State took a 14-13 lead on a layup by Austin Downing before the Bearcats went on an 8-0 run. The Hornets got within 4, 34-30 at the 5.05 mark of the first half and entered the halftime break trailing by just 7, 45-38, despite Northwest connecting on 10 of 15 from beyond the arc in the first half. The Bearcats looked like the number one team in the nation in the second, beginning the half on a 20-4 run to open up the game. The Bearcats shot 57.6% from three and hit a total of 19 for the contest, which was ultimately too much for the Hornets to contain. Well, I thought the first half had been a lot of fun to watch for the fans. Both offenses were absolutely electric. We shot 54 from the field. They shot 63% from the field. Um, you know, we had to lead for a little bit early on, but it was, you know, it, it was competitive. It was good. Um, both teams were just making shots, and it was a, it was a fun, clean game. Uh, in the second half, we knew we were going to have to start limiting their perimeter opportunities and ultimately their, their three-point makes. I thought a lot of the times we did a pretty good job on closing on shooters, um, and a lot of times you just saw the number one team in the country playing at home after coming off a loss, and, and they were hungry. Uh, they're obviously very good, and I believe at one time, Mr. Hudgens was 8 of 8 from behind the line. He ended 8 for 10. Austin Downing paced the Hornets with 17 points. Jamari Turner added 13. Gage McGuire and Nick Reed each chipped in 9. And Mason Thiessen had 8. The Hornets returned to action at home in Watt Auditorium Thursday, January 14th, as they host Pittsburgh State. We got to regroup. We got to get prepared for next week. And we can't be too hard on ourselves. Uh, but at the same time, we got to let uh, you know, let it hurt a little bit, but then turn the page tomorrow so we can get prepared for next week.